Well, it's not Santa, but I've got a sack full of prezzies for myself. Not from Santa, though. Not unless he's turned Chinese. We also um, took the opportunity to get another two packs of the black underlay from Screwfix this time. A little bit. And uh, next we have, if it will come out of the bag, some uh, servo mounts. So, been a bit long winded actually. As you can see, I bought these on the 5th of November, which was what? Was that Saturday? So. It's now at the time of recording the 18th. Um, so they've been a bit long winded. In fact, some of that stuff's come from China. And I'm still waiting for this. I ordered, he sent me an offer. I've had the stuff before, it's laser cut paving. Um, as you can see, I bought that on the 2nd of November and he's just not I've left it until the due date which is now overdue by two days so I will be dropping him a message um, I've had a few like that this last few weeks House of Hobbies in I think it's Atlantic Shear uh, they've been nearly a week and a half after me spending my money I've only just today got a notification that they've raised a ticket for Royal Mail so whether they've actually got it or they're going to collect it Monday I don't know but I've had absolutely no emails from them whatsoever no confirmation of purchase no confirmation of order nothing oh well rant over for now so eventually we have three servo triple servo mounts I only wanted singles but he was out of stock of singles um, I didn't want the four-way ones because I don't envisage any complex requirement for four semaphore operated servo controlled, who knows, maybe in the future. <laughs> so I bought threes because there was no difference in the price. Um, so what did I get? Three there, I think. So they've eventually turned up. So while perusing the interwebs... Um, I came across a loco that I took a liking to, so I'd done a search and I found said loco at Tenants Trains, who I don't think I've used before. So to make the order up, there was a few other bits that might be of use to me in the future, which was the London North Eastern travel posters and some enamel signs which I know they, they fuzz them out in the adverts to stop people copying them, but they fuzz them out so well you can't actually see what you're buying, which is a bit annoying. So I took a gamble, they were two pounds something each. And they had on clearance some train tech LED for their traffic lights. Well, their traffic lights happen to be basically the same as their railway signals. And I have a number of the... Uh, modules that uh, go for building signals but don't come with LEDs they're about six pounds so I bought this for five pound forty it's got enough for three so that will make me three three aspect signals up so that was not bad but the loco in question if you haven't seen my Instagram post was uh, sound fitted class 47 it's the weathered version as you can see, the old sort of run down and unloved end of the BR era when they didn't give a monkeys. Um, oh, it's my first dabble into the new Backman 47s. I've got the older tooling, but not the new tooling. I was thinking possibly a 37, but um, this ended up, I think it was £247, which... Uh, was the cheapest I could find it. Anywhere else was um, up to nearly a hundred pound more. If you talk in Olivia trains, which obviously we all know Olivia trains just take the wee wee, which is why they're the last place I always have stock. Now since then, obviously I did do that 
bargain alert for derails, sod's law. They had the same bloody one for 199 quid, but uh, this has actually only cost me the £47 because the wife's put the £200 towards it for me Christmas present. So that one is still a bargain for me, I guess, but not, uh, not as cheap as I could have found it. But it's just the luck of the draw, isn't it, with all these Black Friday deals and sales and things. So I have, uh, I have trekked myself to another loco, which will be coming up in the near future, I guess. Probably not in this video, but this is waffling on already with uh, the rants, and we still haven't got to the bag of goodies. Right, we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parcels. And inside this one should be, I think, seven or eight hundred gram packs of scatter material. So let's have a look at that first, see what they're really like. So you certainly get a damn sight more in these bags than you do your Javis bag. And through teaspoonfuls. Uh, so... They didn't say what they call each colour, they just categorise it as a catalogue number. Um, there is another mum, number of similar adverts, but they are different uh, shades. Some of them looked a bit garish. Now these were 97 pence a bag. Obviously that doesn't include VAT and postage. Um, but it worked out £16.14 pence. Two pound, four pound, you get the idea. Two quid a bag, basically. And uh, like I say, a hell of a lot more than you get with uh, the competition. This sort of lighter coloured one. But yeah, they're not quite as bad as some of the other ones. Uh, more of earthy tones. So yeah, I'm not unhappy with those. They are as fine as I was hoping they would be for tree scatter and stuff. Talking of trees, I did buy some more. This is a Brucey bonus. I just opened it up and I thought there's more in there than I ordered because I ordered the taller 22 centimetre trees. Whereas before I think they were the 14, maybe 18, I can't remember. And I just opened it up and I thought this says four pieces. I didn't order four. There was two, a twin pack of the taller 22, £6.22. Um, and then there's the postage on top. And the VAT. The dreaded tax. Which brings it up to, uh, where are we, shipping 326. Discount on my coins plus the tax, £18.10p. Um, so that did make them a little bit dearer, but they are the bigger tree. And I'm like, oh, the dipshits have sent me the wrong ones. 18 centimeter. I ordered 22. This is four pieces. I have four of the other trees. Uh, and at the bottom of the box, a bit squished up, but obviously they're white, so they don't matter. They are a nice... Can't really see them in here, but um, they're a nice, realistic, sort of impressive looking trunk. Hell of a lot of wire in them. Um, and as I said before, they they need a, a, a like a sealer and spraying differently. So I got the two I bought plus four extras. Now they haven't sent me any messages because obviously I had bought two or three other lots so whether it's a little thank you or whether it's a cock up but that's a win-win uh, this is really king annoying I ordered this from one supplier they ended up at my local depot Royal Mail in the town waited a week for them to deliver no explanation as to why it hadn't been processed and sent don't know I eventually messaged the seller and they said uh, it's been returned. This, uh, the state has come out the shipping cancelled. I thought, how can it be cancelled when it's literally on my doorstep? So I had to wait until it had gone past the delivery date, then open a dispute and then promptly get a refund. I found another seller 
who was slightly cheaper. Not by much, but um, they've put them in a bag. Last time I ordered these from another person who was considerably more expensive, they curved them and put them in a box. These bunch of idiots have put each one wrapped in a bag, which has then been put in a larger postal bag, and every one is fucking broke. I mean, they're in business to make money, aren't they? Not keep refunding people. I mean, it was deformed, it was bollocks anyway, but they're, uh, you know, people's intelligence. You do wonder sometimes. Everyone's fucked. So now I've got to order another lot from somewhere else and wait another two to three weeks for someone else to send them in a bag and fuck them up. <sighs> One moment while I open a dispute and take some photographs. Uh, well, it's going to be an episode of rants, isn't it? <laughs> Well, at least they've improved their refund process. I think I haven't got a fight tooth and nail for it. I've just sent them multiple photographs and opened a dispute, and it's immediately been closed with a refund. So hopefully, yeah, uh, it'll all be sorted. But the problem is, I've now got to wait, find another one. The next other seller had exactly the same issue because I looked at their reviews. Same problem. Uh, yeah. I uh, can't even use the bloody things, they're so damaged. And uh, that holds up a little model project. Right, let's see what we've got in this one at Inbrook. Two, three at once to catch up and try and make some vain attempt at keeping the video under 15 minutes. Oh, so I wanted some rakes, some little brush rakes. Couldn't find them. Went to Hobbycraft, couldn't find them, looked online. I only found one and I wasn't paying that money. So I got these. I bought these to uh, carve into paste to give you that bark effect. Obviously I can bend these um, to spread them out a bit more. Uh, and they were silly cheap. Ah, uh, if I can find the damn thing. No. More orders. Where are we? £2.89 for all of them. And I also got myself some small tufts. They are they are definitely mini. I think you could use those for end gauge. But um, I wanted some something like represent little dafts that grow on the roadsides. They seem to wherever people dump a little bit of garden waste and they spring up, don't they, somewhere. And I bought those JST leads and they were female, female both ends um, I, I screwed up so I managed to find a supplier that done the other bit so I can cut the leads in half and at least use some of them so I think that leaves me one more box so the last thing is uh, this clampy army thing um, I've already got one. The intention was to buy one that was slightly longer and I've effed up and bought one exactly the same length because I thought each segment, because the one I had I thought was the smaller one at 7 inches being that distance there and I ordered the 11 inch thinking that one and there to make 22. Um, I actually intended on getting what is now described as the 20 inch one. Um, so that'll have to wait because I'm... Yeah. So what it is is one of these. You unscrew that bit and you can pretty much just do the knot back up. And it locks in place. So my idea is I've got this arm which you can put a webcam on or a light which is washing out at the minute um, and you get that like there now I got the extra one, it's not quite straight but you get the idea like that straight yeah 
you screw the clamp on the end, these are quite good, these little clamps, uh, very handy, going on pipe work and shelving and things, you probably even use them in model making as well. Um, so the idea would be to have it straight on one of those arms and camera on there, webcam or my little SJ or whatever, GoPro type thing, and then your layout's here. So you get your shot over on a, like a POV shot. But obviously with this clamp, uh, you know, because I'm going to do a shelf layout like the Americans have in their basements. So you could literally form this to any, you know, clamp it to a bracket underneath the layout of the level and have it like that. And, uh, you know... You can twist and manipulate this pretty much however you like. Um, so yeah, that was the idea. I was just planning on a longer one. But there you are. That was about £11, I think. I mean, they're quite good. They're not Manfrotto quality, but they're not Manfrotto price. Um, but yeah, once you knock that nut off and they'll hold about probably half a pound um, you can do them up a bit tighter but obviously there's going to be a limit to uh, the nut cracking or something thread stripping and uh, disaster pending I don't think you'd be using these on a fast and furious car mount but um, you know for what we use general photography and camera work or a light, holding a light, anything like that. They are quite useful. Or you could use it for holding something in place while the glue sets. So yeah, I've ended up with another one. Not quite as long as I thought. Could probably clamp two together maybe. Who knows.